Okay, yesterday I made a video about a low-tech way to reduce the number of tags in a docx document in MemoQ. And after I published my video, someone posted a comment suggesting that I could in fact have used uh, also as an alternative a template called Code Zapper. And in this video, I will be talking more in details about Code Zapper. So, first of all, what is Code Zapper? Well, it is available as a standalone template, and I happen to have it installed on this computer. So, if I go to the Add ins tab here, I will see a number of uh, options which all relate to Code Zapper. And if I click on the rightmost option about, I will be redirected to the site of the author, Dave Turner. CodeZapper is a template that you can buy for a small amount of money, about 20 euros. And it is highly recommended for translators who deal with Word documents regardless of the translation tool that they happen to use. I will include a link in the description field below, but uh, let's continue. So as it happens, I did in fact run CodeZapper on this particular document, but unfortunately it did not help. So when I imported it in MemoQ after running CodeZapper, it had more or less the same number of tags that I had uh, before using Code Zapper. So it did not help with uh, MemoQ. However, I thought I could uh, mention another possible use of uh, Code Zapper that is with Deja Vu. So if you happen to use the latest version of Deja Vu, Deja Vu X2, a custom version of Code Zapper is included in uh, the software and I will show you how it works. So here I have a sample project in uh, Deja Vu without any document and I will be adding the so same source documents that caused uh, problems with tags in MemoQ here and I will import it in two ways. So first of all there is an option here under properties which is called run code zapper and it is ticked by default but I will untick it and I will now import the document and let's see what uh, will happen. Okay now the document is imported and I can open it and uh, in Deja Vu tags or codes as they call them are numbered in the document uh, from 1 to the number of course there are in the document. So if I go to the very end of the document, I can see that uh, there are in fact 154 such codes and sometimes they are in the middle of words like here in productivity I have code number 146 in the middle of the word and so on. So this is clearly a document that uh, no translator would really like to work on. And let's see now in what way uh, Code Zapper can help. So I will close this document and what I will do now, I will tick the Run Code Zapper option and I will re-import the same document. I will answer yes. And now my document has been re-imported and I can open it again. And if I go to the end of the document, I can see that I have only nine codes left from 153 before using Code Zapper. And out of these nine codes, in fact, only three are really unneeded codes because we had uh, three portions of uh, bold text and each of them consumes two tags that are needed in Deja Vu because Deja Vu is not what you see is what you get. So we only have three extra codes like uh, uh, codes number six and seven around this quote here. And I think if we go further up, 
we will see this code here after the opening quote. Number three is uh, uh, extraneous code, but all the others are okay. So clearly, in this case, uh, code zapper was uh, very useful. It uh, cuts down the total number of uh, codes by uh, almost 150. So that's a clear benefit of using code zapper.